today is a very noisy day we have builders up on the roof and sorry i just got distracted looking along and the cat's right there she's freaked out because there's builders on the roof um and yeah i'm going to be building a new chicken cage in a sort of polytunnel style hoop design uh, i bought it as a ready kit off ebay uh, that's what i'm going to be building today first step is trap the chickens in a different enclosure second step is start building wish me luck managed it she is always the hardest but I got them. Uh, I will just go and get you a snack, girls. So these are all these are all the bits of the structure. I will, and here we have like the base plates and stuff. This is what we're going to make. It looks like a polytunnel, but it's just got chicken wire instead of polythene on the top. And step one, just create a frame. Basically, I'm going to keep going until I get to a step that I need tall people for. So, probably step five, I will need a tall person. But until that point, I'm just going to do my best fits together with these little pop things, kind of similar to if you've ever had crutches and you adjust the height. Pop. Willow has been trying to escape from the temporary zone. I think she wants to lay, so I've just dumped a bit of straw there. She keeps trying to throw herself through the fence, but like this fence obviously does not have chicken sized holes, so she's just like <laughs> So there's the base done. You can see how big it's going to be. I think it's um, 2.8 by 3 meters. It's almost square, but not quite. Uh, it's a really good size. So there's room for the house and then there'll be loads of space for their food and their water. So hopefully it's going to reduce food and water aggression because when they were in the corridor shape, they were all at one end. It wasn't so good, especially for the ones at the bottom of the food chain, uh, the bottom of the pecking order rather, <laughs> not food chain. In addition to this house, I also want to uh, sort out some perch space for them because that one's just really a nesting box, it doesn't have any perches in it. So if I can get a perch going, then it should help keep things cleaner in the nest boxes and just generally make them happy. And this is what it's all about, it's about making my girls happy. Uprights are in. There's one at each corner and then one in the middle of the side. Cross beams, done. So this next stage is putting the roof on, which is a little bit high. Uh, I don't know why the cops are fucking here. Ladder located. Excuse me, hello. You are supposed to be inside the green fence, madame. Look at all those good chickens and look at you. I had a coffee break and put my gloves down somewhere and I don't know where. <laughs> I've got my ladder now, so I should be able to start on it by myself. But I want my gloves. Having some problems trying to get this in. Uh, I assembled it first and then put it in. Maybe I should have put these pieces in and then left the top bar. Till the end and done that up on the ladder. I've worked out what the issue is. There's actually, if you look there, there's a little tiny burr sticking out like two mil. So I'm trying to slide it into the tube and that bit there is catching. I'm pushing this in and obviously it's not doing anything because of that. Hoops are up. So that's the main, that's pretty much the main structure done. The next bit is, doing the spine and I think this is going to be the hardest part because it actually involves hardware rather than just snap together so I'm going to be messing around on a ladder holding an impact driver.
This bit is really tricky, there's no pre-drilled holes so I'm trying to use my judgement to work out where exactly these go and I have to apply quite a lot of force to get this uh, screw in. Things only require two people if you're not me. Spine is on and looking good. Next stage is hanging the door frame. I made the door frame up last night inside the house because it was pretty easy to do indoors. And now I've got to try and secure it. Hmm, looks tricky. The trouble is, there's no holes drilled in the uh, frame. There's holes in these uh, these fixings, but there's no holes drilled in the frame. So it's sort of impossible to know exactly where to put it. And as a result, I'm struggling to make it square. It's just annoying because it's like, oh, it's easy to put together, it's all pre-measured, it's all pre-drilled and whatever. And then they always miss a bit. But what can you do? I gave in and got a tape measure and marked the middle and then measured the length of the gate and this needs to get shifted all the way over to here. Alright, next step is cross bracing the corners to help square it up. Although mine is not going to be square because my ground is not perfectly level because who's got time for that? That's just going to give it some extra stability so it doesn't twist and walk quite as much as it could. Uh, next job is to wrap it all in chicken wire. I've got this huge roll and this weighs like I think about 12 kilos. It's pretty massive. And I've got to wrap that all around and hold it on with zip ties and then it will be done. Nearly done with my first round on the chicken wire. This is such a slow process. But it's really important that it's done properly because this is going to be the predator protection. Obviously, without the chicken wire, <laughs> there is no point having a cage. So it's got to go on and it's got to be done properly. But oh my word, is it tedious. Roof mesh is on, it's quite hard to see on the camera, but roof mesh is on, the door mesh is on, and I made sure the latches still work. They're a little bit stiff, but they do still work. All I've got left now is these gaps. So the big crescent at the back and these two triangle ones at the front, and then I will be done. I'm so tired, I've been on this since like 10 a.m. today and I've got work tomorrow and I cannot be fucking bothered but hey ho it's done it's done it's done it's done these skirts needs bedding in with some soil at some point and I need to put a few more zip ties on along the bottom so extra security but it is done the roof is on the sides are on there are no big gaps so the only thing left to do for tonight, other than tidying up all my tools, is to move the girls in. Chop, chop, chop. Come on. Come on, here we go. New home. Come on. Chalk, 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 They are very confused. Come on then. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to chase them in. Okay, change plan. Oh, it's done. It's done. They're in. Don't peck the concrete. Come here. Chuk, 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 chuk. No, don't eat concrete, you fucking. That's part one. They are in. They have the house. They are hopefully no longer eating concrete. That's hard to tell sometimes. Um, yeah. Chicken house upgrade part one done. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take me to get to the next stage, but they're happy and safe for now. Well, safe. I don't know how happy they are, um, given that I've just yelled at them for eating concrete. But it's done. It's done. I can go and have a shower. I can go and eat. This thing took fucking eight hours. Don't do it by yourself. Uh, yeah.